Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Prime Print Solution. In this video, we will demonstrate the workflow of creating a working model. We will guide you through the InLab CAD software and the InLab Model app to the InLab CAM software. Our model concerns three front teeth restorations in the upper jaw. To begin, we create these in the administration phase. Next, we define the necessary restoration information in the window under Case Details. To create a model, we now switch to the Model option under Indications. We tap the corresponding jaw and set up the necessary information under Case Details to create a model. By tapping the drop-down menu under Material, a list of all printer materials is displayed and we select the appropriate material called Prime Print Model. After all information has been entered, we can move on to the next phase, the Scan Phase. Since we are working with intraoral scan data, this phase is grayed out and we have the option to only view the image catalog scan data. In our case, we proceed directly with the model phase. Now we are inside the Edit Model step and with the different tools, we could edit the model data if desired. Next, we go to the Set Model Access step. The model access is automatically suggested by the software. If needed, it can be redefined in the three different views. This alignment is required to calculate optimal initial suggestions. This applies also to the next step, Set Jawline. We have adjusted the jawline accordingly and switched to the next step, Draw Margin, since the Trim Model step is automatically performed by the software. In this step, we have already manually determined the preparation margins of the three restorations. Therefore, they will automatically be transmitted to the InLab Model app later on. We proceed with the Set Insertion Access step. The insertion access is automatically suggested by the software as well. If needed, the axis can be adjusted for all three restorations by moving the arrow on top of each preparation. To switch to another preparation, you can click on the desired tooth number in the restoration selector. We accept a proposal and proceed with the last step in this phase. We tap Create Model and confirm with Start so that the model data will automatically be opened in the InLab Model app. Before we proceed with the case in the app, we open the System menu, go to the Settings option, and check under Database for the storage location of the case data. Make sure that under Settings, you have defined your preferred storage location for the CAM data so that at the end, your case data can be seamlessly transmitted to the InLab CAM software. We go back to our case and save it now. In the Model app, there are three phases. We start out on the Prepare phase and are currently inside the Clean Model step. We enable the corresponding tool, disable the lower jaw, and begin with a double click at any point of the line. We set further single clicks. until we finish the modification with a double-click on the line. We skip further corrections of both models, and next you are going to see the adjusted upper and lower jaws. At this point, in the window under Tools, different parameters can be determined in regard to the model base height and expansion. As soon as Apply is clicked, the base will be calculated. We now switch to the next phase, the Design phase. The Create Stumps step offers the option of letting the software calculate stumps by enabling the tool of the same name. 
Here too, different parameters or options can be enabled by applying a check mark. In our case, we decide for the new stump shape in the InLab model app and initiate its calculation with Apply. To visualize the stumps, we disable both the lower jaw and the upper jaw. Here you see the new stump shape which can be placed especially smooth and wobble-free thanks to its special root shape and the snap-in effect connected with it. We enable both the upper and lower jaw once again and proceed with the Create Gingiva Mask step. We select the corresponding tool and define the preparation line of the gingiva mask. Since the procedure is the same as with the clean model step, at this point we will skip the modification and next you will see the final calculated gingiva mask. We disable the tool again, enable the lower jaw, and switch to the last step, Add Supports. Again, we select the tool of the same name and have a variety of options to choose from. We move the cursor to a suitable place on the model base and confirm each position with a double click. To modify the support struts, we click again on one of them, and a number of arrows appear with which the support struts can be adjusted. Additionally, we place a bar. We start on one of the sides with a double click and determine the end point on the opposing side, also with a double click. By placing a check mark under Create Opposite Bar, the bar is set up for the upper and lower jaw simultaneously. Then we go back to the first tool and enable the Dent Spline Ball Joint option. Here too we determine the position with a double click. Now we switch to the last phase, the finalize phase. In this phase, we will also take a look at the Carve Out Model and Text Label tools. By tapping Apply, the model is hollowed out according to the selected thickness. Finally, we put some text on the models so that they can be matched to a patient, for example. After the text has been entered, we move the cursor to a suitable location and place the text with a click. In conclusion, we switch to the last step, the export step. Here, different export options are provided. Since the CAM data folder has already been determined, as mentioned earlier, the case is seamlessly transmitted to the InLab CAM software with just one click on Export to Manufacturing. We confirm by clicking OK, and after the InLab CAM software is opened, all cases previously transmitted are displayed. For demonstration purposes, we select one of the models and can either select the so-called fast track by tapping the double arrow or we can switch to the next phase, the arrange phase. Fast track will take you directly to the last phase, produce. In this case, the InLab CAM software automatically positions and orients the print object on the build platform and also defines the support structure automatically. Detailed information about the InLab CAM software can be found in a different video tutorial. We click the double arrow and can finally modify the detail level in the window under Production Options 
and analyze the print object with the Analyzing Tools. To start printing, we tap the green area labeled Start Production. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Prime Print Solution.